do have one here. Um, and it reads, how can we reconcile God's apparent lack of justice imposed upon Moses for committing murder? Today, murder is punishable even unto death. God's law requires justice, doesn't it? Moses did not appear to have faced justice for that crime. Mm. Great question. And I'm going to go to Micah chapter 6, verse 8 to answer that. But before we get there, just, just kind of as you're looking it up uh, to get there, let me explain that you have the, the justice that's being sought out, and you have both the, the God's perspective and those that he actually committed the crime against or the community that he was a part of, right? So Moses was an Egyptian. He grew up in Egypt. Uh, he was a leader in Egypt. Uh, he was following Egyptian law, and his choice to murder even though he was defending his other people, his choice to murder broke the law of the Egyptians. And then he fled. And Moses was a uh, fugitive from Egypt for the rest of his life. Mm. If he would have ever been caught by the Egyptians, they would have punished him for that crime. <laughs> yeah. yes. It's been put to death. Um, he goes back only because God sends him back. He'd been in hiding as a shepherd because he knew he was a fugitive, because he knew he had broken the law, because he knew it was punishable by death to do that. So it's not that God so much said, oh, you committed that crime. It's not that big of a deal. He obviously found reconciliation with God, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there would not have been justice later. In Micah chapter 6, verse 8, which I said we'd point out, God is speaking. He has told you, O man, what is good. What does the Lord require of you but to do justice? to love kindness, and to walk humbly with our God. God does want justice, but how is it that God can be a God of justice, mercy, and grace? I think Moses experienced the grace of God, but the justice of Egypt. Hmm. Yes. That's great. Anything to add? Well, I was also thinking of Romans 6.23, hmm. um, where it would says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And really the truth is that if, you know, God was, was always just delivered that justice and never had the grace, every single one of us would never be in heaven, mm. right? I mean, we would never make it. That's I mean, right. there's yeah. things we've all done. And so really God just shows his grace through the way that he deals with us. And I am so grateful yeah. that Amen. he is gracious, <laughs> right. you know, yes. that he didn't always just do everything like right on the spot. And I mean, Moses went through his own humiliation and, and, and learning about humility in the wilderness, right? So it's, he's there for 40 years, right? So he's spending time learning lessons from God. It's not like God just says, oh, you know, hmm. you did this, that's fine. He actually takes the time to teach him and he has to learn through the quiet times that he's spending with the sheep. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Well, I'm so glad we serve a God that is full of grace and truth yes. and, and uh, we benefit from all. Mm -hmm.